Hi, this is Amy Ford. I'm an adult services librarian with the St. Mary's County Library. Welcome to our new video computer training. This class is Introduction to Microsoft Excel 2007. The class is split into parts for easy watching and this is part one. You will want to have Microsoft Excel open on your computer because you'll be switching back and forth between your web browser and Excel to try out your new skills. If you need to pause the video, just click on the pause button in the bottom left corner of the video screen. There are some tools that are available on this site for the online video technology training. We have a handout that you can print for referring to that contains all the slides in this presentation, so don't worry about writing everything down. There is an Excel 2007 quick reference guide that has lots of tips for using the most common Excel functions. There is a checkbook exercise to work on that will allow you to put some of your new skills to use. And finally, there is a link to the computer tutorials page on the St. Mary's County Library website, where we have compiled free online tutorials for basic computer skills, Microsoft Office products, internet technologies, and other software. So check these out. They're really a great resource for doing some learning on your own schedule. There are a few skills that you are going to need in order to complete this class. Um, just a basic knowledge of toolbars and a basic knowledge of the file menu. Uh, just kind of generally where those are. Nothing fancy. You will need to be able to use the mouse um, and know how to open and close files. But that's it. Just a few little basics. So let's start out with learning about what Excel actually does. Excel performs calculations and analyzes and presents data. It has ways to organize, sort, and retrieve data from other sources, and it can display that data in text or in visual formats like charts and graphs. So what does that mean? Excel is a really great tool for crunching numbers and reorganizing information. So you can use it to do very sophisticated statistics or for something as simple as adding numbers or alphabetizing a list. Uh, Excel has some really cool functions for creating graphs and charts from your data so that you can see trends in your information. Now in this part of the class, we're going to start getting familiar with the program window, and we're going to start out by learning about what's new in Excel 2007. So, some things that are new to Excel 2007. A big one is the new file format. For Excel, the file format has changed from .xls to .xlsx. And in fact, most of the programs in the Office 2007 software package have these new file formats as well. Now this new file format has several advantages. The file size is smaller, it's easier to recover your work if the program crashes, and it's easier to integrate outside data into your file. However, there can be a problem if you take your new Excel 2007 file and try to work on it in earlier versions of Excel. So there's two solutions to this problem. One is to install the Microsoft Office compatibility pack for 2007 Office on the computer that has the earlier version of Excel. But an easier way is just to save the Excel 2007 file in the earlier format so that it's compatible with older software versions. However, this will eliminate some of the special features of the Excel 2007 file. So you'll have to consider that when you're making that change. And I'm going to show you how to make that change in a few minutes. The other big change is the ribbon bar and the Office button. And those replace the toolbars and menus that Excel used to have. So it might seem unfamiliar at first, but it's actually quite easy to get used to. So let's take a look at the different parts of the bar. What you can see here is the whole ribbon bar all at once. And let's start with the Office button. You can see it right off here to the left side. Now when you click on the Office button, you can access a lot of the commands that used to be on the File menu in earlier versions. So let's switch over to Excel and take a look at it. So when you click on the Office button, right up top here in the left-hand corner, it's got the little Microsoft logo in the middle, and you click on that, you get a traditional-looking file menu and a list of recent documents that you worked on. Okay, so these are recent documents over here. If you want to continue working on one of those documents that you've worked on recently, you can just click on it in the list and the file will open. Or if you don't see the file listed, you can click on Open right here to open another file. If you need an entirely new file, right up top here, you can click on New. Now, of course, the Save option, right under Open, is very important. If you're not already, get in the habit of saving your files every few minutes. If something happens to the computer, like the power goes out or some other problem, you're only going to use a few minutes worth of work, so it's a really good habit to have to save you know, just every couple of minutes. 
right underneath save is the save as function that I was telling you about. And this is where you can save your Excel 2007 file as an earlier version for working with earlier versions of the program. And just off to the right, under the Save As menu, if you click on Excel 97 to 2003 workbook, uh, you will save your Excel file in the old file format so that it's compatible with earlier versions. And then there's a few more options on the new Office button menu. There are print options, including print preview. Um, print preview is always a good thing to do because it will save you from printing the wrong thing many times. Uh, there are a few options that have been grouped under prepare. I think that's a little bit confusing. Um, most things about the new layout tend to be an improvement, but this would probably have better been named as information and security. But anyway, this is where you will find the document properties and security settings such as encryptions and password protection for your document. Underneath that are the send functions where you can email or fax your document if you have these services set up. And then underneath that are the publish functions which are collaborative tools for allowing other people to see and modify the document online. And these are pretty advanced functions. We won't be discussing them much but it's just nice to know that they're available. Right underneath the publish function is close and that will close the current file that you're working on. Okay, just a quick review. In this section, we've learned about tools for the online class. Don't forget about those. We've learned what kinds of things that Excel does. We've learned about things that are new to Excel 2007, such as the ribbon bar and the office button and the new file format. And we've also learned how to save our files in the older format so that they are compatible with earlier versions. So I hope you've enjoyed this video presentation and learned a lot. So then in the next video, we're going to go over uh, the ribbon bar, parts of that, also some vocabulary associated with Excel so that when I use a term that we're all on the same page um, and we're, we need to get through all that information before we start working with the program, which will be coming up soon.